What killed the touch and charging on this iPhone 15 Pro Max? Today on the bench, we've got an iPhone 15 Pro Max with a strange issue. The phone powers on, but the touchscreen doesn't respond, and it won't charge. According to the customer, they plugged it into the USB port on their new sofa a couple of times. And then boom, no touch, no charge. Could a couch really do that kind of damage to a $1,200 phone? Let's find out. The first place we look is the USB-C control circuit, and there's one chip that stands out, the U9500IC. This chip is responsible for authenticating whatever gets plugged into the USB-C port. If it fails, the phone won't recognize the charger. But that's not all. U9500 also manages a line called TouchAid, which helps power the touchscreen functionality. So if this chip dies, you lose charging and touch. Double whammy. Apple encrypted this chip and paired it to another chip, the U9720. That means you can't just replace one, you have to replace both. And not just any replacements, they must come from the same donor iPhone 15 Pro Max board. Yes, Apple made it that difficult, thanks Apple. So we carefully removed both chips from a working donor motherboard and installed them onto the dead board. We reconnect the screen, battery, and charge port, and nothing. Still no life. At this point, we connect the board to our power supply, and guess what? Touch is working again. That means the chip transplant was successful. But it's still not charging. Why? We check the battery connector and see only 0.01 volts instead of the usual 3.4 volts. That's a huge clue. Now we focus on the U4000, the charging IC. This chip receives 5 volts from the charger and regulates it down to about 3.4 or 3.5 volts to safely charge the battery. We measure the voltage coming into the U4000. And yes, 5 volts is present. But the output? Nothing. So we replace the charging IC. After the swap, we check the battery connector again. 3.5 volts. That's what we want to see. We reassemble the phone, plug in a cable, and boom. Touch is working, charging is working, and the iPhone lives again. The root cause? That USB port on the couch likely sent unstable power, damaging the U9000 and U4000 ICs. This isn't just a weird one-off issue. We're seeing more and more iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max devices damaged by third-party USB-C chargers, especially ones made for older Android devices or built into furniture. Would you trust your $1,200 phone to a couch ever again? Drop a comment and let us know.